Are you ready for today's fairy lesson? Yes, Nanny Mum. <laughs> today's lesson is about who can that be? Oh, Ben Elf. Hello, Nanny Plum. It's Holly in. I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to play with elves or insects. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Holly. Nanny Plum's giving us a lesson. Do you want to join in? Yes, please. Actually, it's a fairy lesson. Please, Nanny, let Ben stay. But Ben's missed the beginning, and I don't want to repeat everything I've said. But all you've said is, ahem, <clears throat> today's lesson is about... Please let Ben stay. Please, Nanny Mum. OK. As long as Ben just sits quietly and watches. I suppose even an elf might learn something. Thanks, Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're joining us too, are you? Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> now, where was I? Ahem, <clears throat> today's lesson is about... Thank you, Strawberry. Today's lesson is about some important fairy rules. Ooh. Rule one, fairies must look nice. Hair lovely, clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. <laughs> Elves and ladybirds, of course, need not worry about such things. Rule two, fairies should never, ever be without their wands. Who knows why? Without wands, fairies can't do magic tricks. Yes, Ben. We need wands to do magic. A fairy without her wand is like a... like a ladybird without her spots. <coughs> Nanny, Gaston's a boy ladybird. Whatever. The important thing is, fairies must look after their wands. Yes, yes Nanny Plum. Rule three. If it's windy, like today, fairies should be careful about flying. As long as I fly low, I'll be fine. But on a day like today, no one should fly above the castle walls. It's very windy up here. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. So, what have we learned? Fairies should always look nice. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Fairies mustn't fly in strong winds. Very good. You see, even I find it difficult when the wind is so... <laughs> oh, Nanny Plum's gone. Was that meant to happen? I don't think so. <laughs> Nanny's left her wand behind. And a fairy without a wand is like a ladybird without his spots. Poor Nanny! What can we do? I've got a simple plan. We find Nanny, we rescue her, then we give Nanny her wand. But we don't know how to find her. And we don't know how to rescue her. And we're not allowed to touch Nanny Plum's wand. Then it's a good thing I'm here. I can do all those things because I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston, find Nanny Plum. Gaston will sniff her out in no time. Hooray for Gaston! There's Nanny Plum! Stage one completed! Hello! How did you find me so quickly? Gaston followed your smell! My smell? For your information, I do not smell! Nanny! We've got your wand! Holly! You know you're not allowed to touch my wand! It could be very dangerous! But we just wanted to help you. And you said a fairy should never be without her wand. So we're here to rescue you and give you back your wand. Well, that's very nice of you all, but... Stage two, the rescuing bit. Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. Uh, that sounds dangerous. I think I'll just wait for the wind to drop 
and then I'll fly down. Are you sure you don't want to be rescued, Nanny? Quite sure. This isn't quite what I had planned. But now we're all together again, let's resume the lesson. Uh, Nanny Plum, are you sure that leaf can take your weight? My weight? Young man, I'll have you know I'm as light as a feather. Now, where was I? The last thing you said was, even I find it difficult to fly when the wind is so... That's the sound you made when the wind blew you away. Ah, yes. Thank you, Strawberry. Even I find it difficult to... At least I'm dry. <laughs> Nanny's wings are soaking wet. She can't fly. So she's stuck on that little island. Nanny Plum, are you ready to be rescued? Uh, no. I'll wait for my wings to dry and then I'll fly over to you. I think that bird's looking for worms. <laughs> I hope Mrs. Bird doesn't mistake me for a worm. Woo! 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 Ah! Oh, Nanny Plum's in a bird's nest. I'll be all right, as long as the eggs don't hatch. Oh, dear. Those baby birds look hungry. Oh, bother! My wings are still wet! Woo! Nanny Plum! It's not pleasant, but it's only mud. I think it's quicksand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Ben? I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep still, Nanny Plum! I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist! She's too heavy! Gaston, pull harder! Woo! Hooray! Ooh, Nanny Plum, you smell horrible! Well, at least no one else was here to see all that! My goodness, is that you, Nanny Plum? Uh, yes, Queen Thistle. I'm just teaching the children a few fairy rules. Excellent. And what fairy rules are you teaching? Rule one. Fairies must always look nice. Hair lovely, clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. Uh, yes. I've been showing the children what not to do. Rule two. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Uh, yes, yes, Strawberry. King Thistle doesn't want to know all the little details. Quite right. You seem to have everything under control, Nanny Plum. Please carry on. Thank you, Your Royalness. Did you notice that Nanny Plum seemed a bit smelly? I thought it was the ladybird. Now, where was I? You had just shouted, Woo! That's the sound you made as you landed in the mud. Ugh. Thank you, Strawberry. Actually, that brings today's lesson to a close. That was a brilliant lesson, especially the adventure bits. I'm pleased you enjoyed it, Ben. And thank you for rescuing me. Ah, it's nice to have you back. Herbie 